Thank you for joining us for today's lesson. Today's lesson is on single tonguing. And uh, it's important to think about the syllable that you use when you single tongue. When I want to play quickly, it's not interfered with by the syllable that I'm using, if that makes sense. Also, it's, it's important to think of what makes a note short. Is it the front end of the note or the back end of the note? It's the back end of the note. The important thing about single tonguing is your air, not your tongue. You must keep your air moving. Just like you took a piece of furniture and you're sliding it across the floor, you're keeping your air moving. You do not want to let up. The first thing I'm going to do is show you a little bit of double, double tonguing, and then I'm going to elaborate on this whole idea. So to double tongue cleanly, you want to pick syllables that you can go as quickly as possible. You don't want it to become too choppy, so you pick syllables that are easy to go quickly but legato so it doesn't become too choppy. So if all of a sudden you feel yourself having a lot of, of um, unwanted tension and you just don't like your sound and you're starting to get backed up right in here, Stop doing this and do some long tones or do some lip slurs. Do some things that keep your everything forward in your mouth, okay? If you're a commercial player and you play in a, a funk band or a rock band or some kind of pop band, you're thinking, I never use triple tonguing. I never use multiple tonguing. You will. If you learn to do this effectively, it will make you a better player even if you don't have to use it. So that's your triple tongue. Like I keep saying, there's really blurred lines nowadays between a classical player and a commercial player. So if you want to just be a great trumpet player, you'll not focus just on high notes or, or endurance or this kind of genre of playing. You'll work overall on your ability to play the trumpet as a whole. You'll get a good classical mouthpiece, Patrick mouthpiece. You'll get a great classical mouthpiece. You'll get a, a crossover mouthpiece for this kind of work. You'll get a commercial mouthpiece for this kind of work. Why? We'll talk about that in another series, but the biggest thing is that you do not want to have unwanted tension. And if you're playing on a really shallow mouthpiece and trying to practice um, skills like this, you're going to bring unwanted tension into your playing. 